Welcome, fans. Thanks for joining us for this Friday night edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here, and by my side, for Kellogg and the sharpshooter, Steve Kerr. Well, Philadelphia 76ers came away with the win, their last meeting this season against the Knicks. They come into this one feeling good about the matchup. They've taken both games so far this season. And it was so important for their bench to come in and play well in that game. I thought that was critical to, to the victory. Well, they got contributions up and down the roster, and that's what you need. Everybody who stepped on the floor contributed. So the New York starting five, Anthony and Stoudemire make up the forwards. Alderon at the one, Hardaway Jr. at the two, and it's Bargnani in at the five down low. Now here is Hardaway. What a tremendous game he played against Minnesota. Stoudemire kicks to Hardaway. Looks for Bargnani, gets it to him, and it's rejected, and he's able to get it back. Here's Carter Williams. Inside. Got a piece of it. Taken away by Anthony. Stoudemire setting the pick for Anthony. Stoudemire kicks to Bargnani. New York moving it around. Hardaway passes to Bargnani. The eight-footer. And the Knicks miss again. You know, Bargnani generally a pretty reserved guy overall. Tends to go about his business, but... There were moments last year where he got teed up for talking trash, so he's got some fire in him. Now here's Carter Williams. 14 points from him the last game against Detroit. Five on the clock. The 11-footer off the left rim and up. That was not pretty there. you got to make that one, but maybe that's not his range. And I remember that play you were talking about with Bargnani Clark. He got into it with Kevin Garnett, of all people, and got the tech in the process. You know, he definitely will play with fire at times. And, you know, to get a tech talking to KG, of all people, who was a known trash talker and one of the best in the history of the league, people see Bargnani as, and think he just loafs around for stretches and is nonchalant, but I think there's a fire inside of that guy that Nick would like to see more of. But well, this is how you completely rattle an opponent's rhythm. Yeah, you know, such terrific on-the-ball defense to trigger the transition opportunity. And it wasn't just a tough deal. It was the exclamation point they put on the fast break with the slam. You know, the Sixers have really undergone a complete reversal in recent years from a team with a very old-school, traditional front office to a team that's now focused on the science and analytics of winning basketball. And quite honestly, guys, we're seeing more and more teams embrace the uh, analytics side of things. And for the Sixers, their new stat-driven decision-making permeates the organization from ownership, Steve, to the front office, uh, all the way down to the coaching staff. Well, that's where the league seems to be going, Kevin. You know, teams are trying to think further ahead and see opportunities for strategic advantages. But, look, it's still a balance. You've got to have chemistry and coaching and those numbers will come in play. But they can't be the be-all, end-all. The New York Knicks were ranked as the NBA's most valuable franchise recently, and with team value skyrocketing, the Knicks came in at around one and a half billion. That's a B, billion. They set the screen. Carter Williams dishes to Covington. Second shot opportunity, and that one's good. Noel. If you battle for the offensive rebound and come up with it, you're guaranteed a high-quality shot on the follow, just like he got there. And, of course, for the Knicks, a huge part of their value comes from playing in the Big App. Yeah, I agree with that, Kevin. The business and media capital of the United States, you know, they go out of their way to attract the big stars to the games. Courtside seats for the top names. That helps give the Knicks an allure, kind of a glamour that a lot of franchises don't have. Noel sets a screen for Carter Williams. Pass to Covington. Feeds it to Jackson. Right side Jackson. Another shot. And Embiid lays it in. Well, you got to love his determination on the glass. Coming out of the gate strong. Knicks trail by four. First quarter of action. Just under three and a half minutes played. Outside Anthony. The 11-footer. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And no question, he got bumped on that shot. Definitely no room for discussion on that one. 
These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And you know, last game, guys, he shot very well from the strike. Made a nice contribution there. Yeah, he sure did. Turned in a really nice performance. He's had trouble putting up the same numbers from the foul line that he put up last season. First free throw is good. The Sixers are certainly looking to build something special on the court. And to that end, they're planning to build a new 55,000 square foot practice facility close by at the Navy Yard. And the 76ers making a change here. Richardson's checked in. The free throw is good from Anthony. And right now, the Sixers practice about 11 miles away at a local college. That new practice facility, Steve, expect to open next summer, less than two miles away. Well, both from a competition standpoint and from player relations, I mean, it makes sense. Players want the best, and you get a top-of-the-line facility, makes it much easier to recruit in free agency. Here's Hardaway after the Sixers pick up two. Anthony up on top. Back to Hardaway. Let's it go from deep. And Anthony gets it to go on the assist from Hardaway. And that's now nine points for Carmelo Anthony. A good open look, and he splashes home the three. Carter Williams gets to MB. Back to Carter Williams. MB, the pass to Carter Williams. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Jackson in the corner. Launches it. Count that one. Jackson's got five points so far. Right back at you. They immediately get those three points back. Trading punches. That's how you answer. Here's Calderon. Here's Stoudemire. That ball's nice speed this time from Jose Calderon. Well, every once in a while, he'll show us some pretty good moves around the hoop. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. I caught up with head coach Brett Brown. He said a big part of this game will depend on how well they can slow down Carmelo Anthony. He added with his size and shooting ability, he can score inside and out. We're going to try a couple different coverages and show him different looks over the course of the game to try to keep him off balance. And guys, I guess we'll see how it works. Back to you. Thank you, Doris. And here are the Knicks now after the Sixers pick up two. And Anthony gets double teamed. with the ball. Knicks trail by four. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Tim Hardaway Jr.'s game pretty different from his father's. Tim Sr., of course, famed for his UTEP two-step, <laughs> otherwise known as the killer crossover, and, and Jr.'s a, is a different game. He is a different game, but he's going to have an effective and long career. Sr. was also only a six-foot point guard. Jr. is a six-six shooting guard. While he does have some handles, Junior I'm speaking of, he's more of a long-range bombardier thus far, and also I think has the potential to be pretty good defensively going forward. Hardaway hits them both. You know, growing up, Tim Hardaway Jr. was really pushed hard by his dad. They would get into arguments about the game. Tim Jr. said it, it almost pushed him away from basketball entirely, but in the end, Dad decided for the sake of their relationship to just give his son the space to figure it out on his own, and of course, it's worked beautifully. They've got to continue to put pressure on the defense by probing inside. That's what's really working for them. And when you're doing the job they are inside, it takes pressure off the perimeter guys. Now here's Anthony. 35 points for him last game against Minnesota. Yeah, huge impact defensively as well, Kevin. Remember, he had three block shots in that game. And one thing you can certainly see that Tim Hardaway Jr. got in his DNA from his dad is his competitive spirit. I mean, he loves competition. Asked if he hoped to be like his dad Jr. said, I want to be better than him. I've heard that from my sons, too. Philadelphia shooting their first free throws of the game. Well, this is a kind of a mediocre free throw shooting team. They're sitting there at about 73% as a unit. You know, they've really put themselves behind the eight ball in so many of their games because they just have not been able to knock down those foul shots. Michael Carter-Williams with that rare height at the point guard spot. He's 6'6", long arms. And one thing you love about taller point guards, the ability to really 
survey the court and pass over the top of the defense. And New York making a change here. Smith has checked in. No good at the stripe this time. His second miss is also. And for Carter Williams, great quickness at his height. And Clark able to defend smaller players and get by them to penetrate on the other side of the floor. And he needs that, Kevin, because his jump shot is still very much a work in progress. It's not broke, but it's wobbling a little bit. He's got to tighten that thing up going forward. The 76ers leading. Jackson dishes to Carter Williams. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. In the last month, let's see how the Sixers perform. First and fewest turnovers per game. Fifth in rebound. And they kept the lid on opposing teams' overall offense as well. They're in the top ten in opponent scoring. And what's most impressive out of all those numbers, Clark, is the, the few turnovers that they commit. Because now all of a sudden you're executing, you're putting a lot of pressure on the defense because they know they're not going to force a lot of steals and get out in transition to find easy points. That one is off. Well, the free throw line has really hurt them. A rough start there, and they could use those points, no doubt about it. A different look for New York. Quincy Aziz checked in for Stoudemire. And it's Pablo Prigioni in for Jose Calderon. He hits the second from the line. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. They're coming off that win against Minnesota. I thought the way they attacked the rim and got into the paint was phenomenal. It seemed like after a while, the defense just kind of waved the white flag. That's exactly what will happen when a team continues to attack the goal and come away with layups. It demoralizes the defense. Now we get a chance to check out Michael Carter-Williams. His last 10 games, he's averaging 15 points a game, six assists, and three rebounds. The points have been coming for him at a prodigious rate, and that's exactly what they depend on, his scoring ability and his drive. Yeah, and that's exactly what he is, a driven player, Steve, someone who can take an opposing defense and just shatter it with his ability. Knicks trail by three. And Prigioni kicks to Hardaway. Passes it to Carmelo. Unloads from 13. And it's good assisting on the play with Hardaway. And that's 13 points for Carmelo Anthony. For Philadelphia, they've gone 8 of 12 on field goal attempts so far. Jackson passes to Embiid. To the paint, here's Carter Williams. Shot misses. So New York will take it the other way. Anthony left side. Well, time pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Anthony's got 15. I don't think they can ask much more of him than what he's done this quarter. And here is Carter Williams, averaging 16 points a game. Richardson dishes to Jackson. And he's way off from outside. Boy, just by his body language, Kevin, you can tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Yeah, a little frustrated now, shaking his head after that miss. Now here is Hardaway. Right now averaging 11 points a game. Anthony with the screen on Jackson. Six on the shot clock. Hardaway for three. That one's rebounded by Embiid. The 76ers trip. Jackson in the corner. Shoots. That one's good from the corner. Jackson. Jackson's got seven. Boy, this game is off to a terrific start. No doubt. On both sides, high-octane offense. And Prigioni kicks to Hardaway. The feed to Carmelo. And stolen by Noel. Now here's Carter Williams. He's covered closely. He kicks to Jackson. He dishes it to Noel. Here's Carter Williams. Offline with his three. You know, he's been off his game this quarter. Been able to get a whole lot to go so far. Here's Prigioni. 14 points from him the last game against Minnesota. Yeah, no question. You look at his assist totals, and they tell you what a nice job he was doing with really spreading that ball around. Now 
here's Carter Williams. That doesn't go either for Carter Williams. Boy, he has been struggling mightily in this quarter, guys. True. He really seems to have tightened up a bit for whatever reason. He's, he looks tight. Now here's Anthony. 15 points in the game. He feeds it to Prehioni. And the basket good. Prihioni's got his first two points. Boy, they are passing the ball very crisply right now. They sure are. That's three straight buckets that have come off of assists. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. They put up a nice win against Detroit the last time out. And across the board in that game, they just shot the lights out. They had a fantastic offensive night. Yeah, rarely do you see a team get that hot. In total, I mean, everybody was knocking them down. They were spraying it from everywhere. Here's what Philadelphia is going with right now. Sims is checked in. And Mbala Mute comes in for Noel. Here's Sims averaging eight points a game. Back to Jackson. Here's the three. And that one's good. Jackson's got ten. He's just been the man since the start of this quarter. And just a tremendous period of basketball for him. Well, Sixers head coach Brett Brown, a basketball lifer. His father was a respected high school coach. And actually coached him before he went on to start at point guard at Boston University under Rick Pitino. Here's Galloway. And it's off the back rim. No good. Philadelphia's gone two or four from beyond the arc to start the game. Jackson passes to Crawford. Back to Jackson. One thirty-one left here in the first quarter. Pocket six from deep. Richardson and the rebound goes to the Knicks. Smith's got rebound number five here tonight. And Brown was a pretty good player, athletic, fast, great hands. After college, he played professionally in Australia. And he ended up living there for 17 years. So between growing up in New England and his time down under, he developed an interesting accent. Some have called it Australian. <laughs> I like his fire too. He's a competitive, energetic guy. Philadelphia shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Two shots. The free throw drops for Jackson. What a game we've seen here for Jackson. He's already up to 11 points, and he's hit the mark twice from three-point range as well. Well, it's no secret. I mean, the more points he can come up with from out there, the better off they'll be offensively with their spacing. Thompson, he's checked in for Jason Richardson. No free throws good from Jackson. That's a familiar sight. He hardly ever wastes his chances at the line. Cashes in regularly. Smith with a screen on Jackson. Kicks it to AC. New York moving the ball around. And the pass to Smith. Here's Prehione. Averaging 12 points a game. And they've set up countless buckets off assists. That's a huge part of what they've been doing here today. A lot of dime dropping going on out there, Steve. Jackson kicks to Sims. New York called for the foul. Already his second foul. He's in danger of getting into very serious foul trouble early in this game. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And his free throws are only going in at about a 72% rate this season. Not a terrible number, but something that could definitely improve. Guys, he's slightly fallen off his pace from a year ago at the line. And those points from the strike have been a little harder to come by. And the first one drops. Camilo Anthony has checked in for New York. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. I think they've got to be more disciplined here, Kevin. Already way too many fouls and too many free points for the opponent. Over to the wing. Pass to Galloway. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Jackson dishes to Crawford. Thompson outside. Pass to Jackson. Crawford sets the pick here for Jackson. The baseline J off the mark. 
And the defense got away with a major lapse there. It's Carmelo Anthony on the wing. Shoots. Drops one in from the wing. Anthony's got 17. Guys, what a tight start to the game this has been. You know what? Can you believe there have been seven lead changes already, guys? Wow. Yeah, we're still in the first half. I mean, it's, the way this thing is going, this could turn into a wild one. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Welcome back, folks. We have a close game here at the start of the second quarter of play. And what stands out to you from New York in this one? Yeah, this team played an excellent first quarter offensively, moving the ball and getting a good flow to their offense. That's why you see those big assist totals. Yeah, very timely passing for them, Steve, and that's fun to watch. Here are the five New York has to start here in the second. They've got Anthony. Calderon is out there with Stoudemire. And it's Galloway in at the one spot. Now the dish to Calderon. Shot clock at five. Goes up to the strike. Stolen by Thompson. And here we go with Thompson running it up the court. Okay, well, let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game. Doris, take it away. Guys, as you know, Michael Carter-Williams last year's Rookie of the Year, and Coach Brett Brown said he's more than he's bargained for. More skilled, tougher, prideful, and competitive. But Coach loves his playmaking as well, saying, quote, his size enables him to play with a different vision line. He understands how to run a team and find his teammates. Kevin? Not bad for the number 10 pick in the draft. Thanks, Doris. And a chance now to catch up on some numbers here with the hustle stats for Philadelphia. You know, they've done a great job of getting a hand up on shooters. Actually, have gotten a lot of blocks as well, solidifying that defensive effort. And the offensive rebounding has been really impressive so far as well. So I really like this team's effort tonight. Well, Jamal Crawford has proven that no matter what role he plays, just call him Buckets. He can flat out put the ball in the basket. You got to give him a lot of credit, though. He does change his game quite a bit, depending on if he's coming off the bench or starting. I think that speaks to his IQ. It's Thompson off the drive. Up and in on the way. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. This is it to Galloway. A shot by Anthony. Nobody around. And there are the Knicks with another bucket. Got a lot of momentum going with his own game. It's been great today. And just as hot as he was last time out. Here's Crawford. Knicks with the rebound. Usually if he gets to the rim, he's converting it into points. The defense stood tall there. Well, you knew he'd win that race. Definitely. I mean... That's what you call early offense. Thompson with it. Dishes to Crawford. Here's Sims, guarded by Stoudemire. Six to shoot. There's Covington. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Well, you allow them to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Yeah, I think you got to foul him, and free throws are better than a layup.
And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Knicks. And they're doing a fantastic job of finding the open man and getting easy looks. You know, we've seen them bearing their fair share of mid-range jumpers tonight, too. I mean, that's a good start for them. Well, it seems like they're having a lot of trouble at the line today, and it's just been that kind of a day. And the 76ers with some changes. Nerlens Noel comes in for Mba Amute. And Michael Carter-Williams subbed in for Jamal Crawford. Bargnani has checked in for New York. Tim Hardaway Jr. comes in for Carmelo Anthony. Good on the second free throw. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Calderon kicks to Hardaway. Stoudemire inside. He's covered by Noel. And Stoudemire slams it in. Stupendous rush to the rim and a mighty slam on the end of it. But through the teeth of some pretty soft D. I can't help but say that. Well, let's see how that impacts things here. Because those kinds of plays sometimes can be game changers on both sides. Noel sets a screen for Carter Williams. Six to shoot. Puts up a three. Here's a Sims. Lays it in without an inch of room around it. The Knicks have gotten four of their first five shots to fall in the second quarter. Outstanding shooting. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Stoudemire with the screen on top. Left side Hardaway. Just five to shoot. Two open that time. Made it look too easy. Hardaway has got five now. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Well, if you just looked at assist as the measuring stick, they've been by far the better team. And you can always depend on him to put the pass right on the money. Now Calderon. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Stoudemire left side. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Stoudemire's got the lead up to four now for New York. Now you threaten the defense inside and then find the open man on the outside. Good offense. Carter Williams the pass to Sims, and it's out of bounds. The Knicks will take it the other way. And now the 2K leaderboard, a list of the teams that have rebounded the ball tremendously over the last 10 games. Fifth on the list, the 76ers. Kevin, that's been a nice run lately. They're making a strong effort on the board. And it's working and paying dividends for him. The Knicks leading by four. Calderon passes to Galloway. And that comes off the assist by Calderon. Calderon's got three assists in the game. The number of points they've scored in the paint already today is pretty eye-opening, Steve. Oh, it's off the charts. It really is. And defensively, I mean, they have to start shutting down some of those lanes to the hoop. Thompson dishes to Carter Williams. Noel trying to break loose. Carter Williams can't get it to go. Boy, I tell you what, the complexion of this game would be completely different if he'd shot the ball anything like he's capable of. New York's gone three or four from long range in the game. Guys, uh, they've been getting it done. They sure have been. I mean, really looking good and sharp offensively. Yeah, knocking down the open shots and really getting a nice flow to their game. Right side Hardaway. Off the screen. No good. Now the 76ers take it the other way. Well, they've got the Lakers ahead of them after this game. In the next game, it'll be played in Los Angeles. And that one will start off a three-game road trip for the team. Here's Sims. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Well, right here, Kevin, we can get a look at New York and what kind of numbers they've put up these last ten games. First in three-point field goal percentage. First in free throw percentage. And they also show up in the top five and not giving up the ball. This is a low turnover team. They value possession and they really concentrate on taking care of the rock. And you look at those numbers and what obviously stands out is first in the league in three point shooting. That's amazing. Uh, they've just done a nice job of spacing the floor, getting good looks for their shooters out there and really passing the ball unselfishly. Richardson, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Smith checked in for New York. And he sinks the second. And here's Calderon. 
He's coming off a 10-point game against Minnesota. And he really competed defensively, too. Kevin, three steals. Feeds to Bargnani. Right wing. Shot clock at six. That's good. And the Knicks lead by seven. Great job there, recognizing the mismatch and taking advantage. They got to put a bigger guy on him. Otherwise, he'll bury those jumpers all game. Carter Williams kicks to Richardson. They set the pick. The 11 footer, the basket good off the assist from Carter Williams. Carter Williams has got assist number seven for him tonight. New York calls timeout. And Philadelphia making a change here. Embiid's checked in. Uh, here's a look at some stats for Jose Calderon. Over the last month, making major contributions. He's averaging 15 points per game, eight assists and two rebounds. And those are tremendous assist totals. You don't even need the numbers, really, to see just how confident he is with the ball in his hands. Yeah, that's, that's really accurate, Steve. I mean, he is loving playing the quarterback for them. And blocked. Now here's Carter Williams. The feet to Noel. He kicks it to Richardson. 76ers moving the ball around. Here's Covington. Guarded by Hardaway. Richardson with it. Right now averaging 11 points a game. That's good. And he's starting to pick things up here after a tough first quarter. The Knicks leading by three. Here is Calderon. Bargnani sets the screen for Calderon. Throws up again. That's good from Bargnani. Philadelphia has gone 0-2 from deep in the second. Carter Williams, the pass to Embiid. Back to Carter Williams. He dishes it to Covington. Six on the shot clock. On the wing. Knicks with the rebound. To the left side wing. Kicks it to Calderon. Back to Hardaway. Smith on the wing. Let's the three fly. Calderon, no good. The 76ers trail by five. Well, Jose Calderon, a huge boost offensively at point guard. He's a terrific floor general, sets up his teammates nicely, takes good care of the ball. And he's a top-tier marksman. In the NBA, we call those guys lasers. He can do it off the bounce or spotting up. Richardson, Philadelphia needs to get a shot off. Carter Williams can't get it to go. The Knicks leading by five. Now Calderon. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Carter Williams. Down it goes, jamming that one home. Great anticipation and awareness to come up with the steal and trigger the fast break. Wow, and now it's just a one possession game thanks to that quick hitter. Fantastic basketball on the open floor. New York's gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter. So he talks to you about Calderon shooting. In his career, he's led the league in both free throw percentage and three point percentage. I guess the trade-off is defensively. I mean, he's solid, not spectacular, but his shooting is such a problem for defenses, and especially when you pair him with good players like Dallas did a year ago. Uh, boy, he can he can really play and space that floor. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Doris, what do you have? Well, Kevin, the Sixers going young, and Coach Brett Brown explained their philosophy, saying, we try to highlight athletes and length. At this stage, we're trying to grow a blue-collar, hard-nosed defensive program. We take those athletes, put them in a defensive system, and get them playing in the open court. That's the flavor of what we're trying to do. Kevin, back to you. Putting those young legs to use, Doris. Thanks. Jackson dishes to Embiid. Carter Williams kicks to Jackson. 
to Carter Williams. Expanding his range. And there's the call on Joel Embiid. That's his first foul. And Bahamute's checked in for Philadelphia. And a switcher also for New York. Anthony's checked in. Here's Prehione. He's got seven. Smith with a screen on Carter Williams. He only passes to Smith. He feeds it to AC. To AC. Just five to shoot. Outside Hardaway. And again, it's the Knicks missing. He's trying to shoot his way out of it, guys. And as long as they're in the lead, he's going to continue to try to find his rhythm. A shot by Carter Williams. Nobody around. Again, Carter Williams missing. I tell you what, the way he's been going this quarter, guys, they're going to need somebody else to pick up the slack. Anthony with the screen on Richardson. It's Carmelo Anthony on the way. Hits the target from 18 feet. Anthony's got 23 points. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they built this lead for themselves here. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. The pass to Carter Williams. Puts it up. Carter Williams with another miss. Misfires again, and the ball just refuses to cooperate with him. It's a tough day so far. Quick shot there, and it's off target. The 76ers trail by five. Here's the screen. It's Richardson on the way. And a great assist by Carter Williams as that one goes in. Carter Williams has got assist number eight now on the night. Here's Prehione. He has seven. Smith on the wing to the inside. And finished off by AC. Right back to the basics there, using the one-hand slam for that one. Doesn't he make the basics look pretty exceptional? Yeah, he does. They look sweet when he does them. Well, he should stay with those basics in a tight ball game because we've got one here tonight. And Abamute kicks to Carter Williams. Pass to Jackson. Off target from three-point range. We'll see if they want to trade two for one here. Well, you got to time up the clock. It's easier said than done, but you've got to execute your offense on that first possession. Philadelphia shooting here about 46% for the game. Richardson kicks to Carter Williams. 19 seconds left in the first half. Outside Jackson. Embiid sets the pick for Jackson. There's the triple. Embiid throws it down with the quick putback jam. He sniffed out that board and then powered it back in. Pure Mike Clark, so strong going back up with that and one. That's exactly what he's capable of, guys. So strong. And it is very dangerous to leave him open like that. Lucky break for the defense that he missed it. And the first half ends in a close one. It's the Knicks. They lead by two. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. Well, Carmelo, some great help off the bench during this first half. What does their contribution mean to this team? Well, I mean, we always believe that we have one of the better bench in the NBA. When they come to play like, they, like we're playing so far, you know, it, it makes it a tough game, makes it a tough team to beat. And we're just hoping we can keep that up. It certainly takes some pressures off the starters. Melo, thanks for the time. Guys? All right, Doris, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow here on 2K Sports teams battling hard through the first half what a great game for Anthony in this one he has 23 points and he's done his job at the charity strike he's gotten four of his points from there and that's a good place to get them you know they don't come easier than that but you've got to get yourself there first Michael Carter Williams is out there with Jackson then there's Embiid then there's Nerlens Noel and it's Covington in at the small forward position that's the group in the game for the 76ers Carter Williams can't get it to go. He's playing selfishly now, guys. He's just trying to get as many shots up as he can. Doesn't look at all concerned about his teammates. Jackson against Calderon. Back to Anthony. Shoots from 14. And it's good off the back rim and in. Anthony's got the first points to start out the third quarter for New York. 
Jackson against Hardaway. Jackson passes to Covington. It's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And now here's a quick peek at the best rookie free throw shooters over the course of the past month. And you look at Jackson, second in the NBA. So great from the line. And, of course, Joel Embiid. Well, they're both fundamentally sound, or at least they were in the past month. And I think their success at the free throw line is a part of that. Yeah, and I say taking care of business from the charity strike, not going to be a concern for either one of them. Throw drops for Covington. Both good from the line that time. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Calderon dishes to Anthony. That ball's nice feed this time from Jose Calderon. Nice move and finish. I think the halftime break gave him a second win. He looks fresh. Jackson a screen on Calderon. Carter Williams kicks to Jackson. And B, the best in the wall. And he gets the bucket. Noel's got his third bucket of the night. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. No question. Pound it into the painted area and continue to put pressure on that defense. Here's Anthony. Count it and the foul. That one on MB. Carmelo Anthony, one of the league's elite scorers, no doubt. No question about it, Kevin. I mean, really versatile as a threat. He can back you down because he's strong. He's a lot stronger than people realize. He can bump and grind with the best of them, and he can face you up. He's got the quick release. He can pull up off the dribble. He can catch and shoot. He can post. He can get to the offensive glass. I think he's become a much more consistent threat from long range as well, so that's why he's got a career scoring average of around 25 a game. It's Jackson with the draw. Oh, get it! Oh, 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 oh. Talk about putting something extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, Clark, you know, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. Still, I mean, it's startling that he'd even try that right now. And now Carter Williams pushing it up. No one back to stop him. And a chance to look at some of the numbers for Jose Calderon. His stats have been pretty good the last few weeks. You can see he's showing up as one of the premier performers in the league. He's right around 13 points a night, eight assists and two rebounds. And he's been passing the ball like a virtuoso. That's what really stands out to me about his recent performances. Well, you think about his intelligence, the court vision. Both are outstanding. Uh, those numbers are hardly a shock, as excellent as they are. That's good from Carter Williams. He hits both from the strike. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. And here's Calderon. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Hardaway dishes to Stoudemire. Outside Anthony. Just five on the clock. And the rejection by Noel. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Carter Williams kicks to Noel. Carter Williams, the pass to Jackson. Right side, Jackson. And off the fly, and in it goes. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. The Knicks have gone 3-5 to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. 
Hardaway kicks to Anthony. Anthony drawing the double team. Stoudemire inside. Noel on him. Stoudemire dishes to Hardaway. That's good. Hardaway has got seven points in the game. And not even three quarters out of the way. So many lead changes. One heck of a game. I mean, guys, this has been outstanding in terms of the effort that both sides have been able to put up. I'm looking over there at Steve. He's enjoying every second of it, Mark. <laughs> yes, yeah, oh, me too. Man. This has been great, guys. Look at the fans getting their money's worth here. Both teams just playing so hard out there. And the 76ers making a change here. Sims has checked in. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Now here's Carter Williams. He's got seven. There's the pick. Noel sets a screen for Carter Williams. Here's a Sims. And Bargnani sends it back. And he's able to get it back. Anthony left side. That ball's nice feed this time from Jose Calderon. That's now 32 points for Carmelo Anthony. The 76ers trail by three. Carter Williams with it. Pass to Covington. Back to Carter Williams. Pocket six. Noel lays it up and banks it in. Noel's got four this quarter. Seems like they're on their heels every time defensively because the ball continues to go into the post. Well, if they don't pick up the aggression, things are only going to get worse. Anthony with the bucket. That's like a layup for him. He's just wide open out there. For Philadelphia, they've gone 4 of 7 to get things started here in the second half. There's the dish to Jackson. Jacks up a three. And that one's good. Jackson's got 19 points. How about that for a response? We will say they can give the three as well as they can take the three. Alderaan has the open look. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. The 76ers have gotten five of eight shots to fall for them in the third quarter. A nice 62% for the field. Carter Williams against Calderon. Carter Williams, the pass to Noel. Good work defensively by Stoudemire. New York's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Passes it to Calderon. Some nice passing by New York here. Plenty of space. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Calderon's got his first bucket in this one. The 76ers trail by three. Jackson kicks to Noel. Now here's Jackson, guarded closely. The shot from the low post is good. Jackson's got nine points here in the second half. No misses for him yet in this quarter. Solid as a rock. New York calls timeout. Checked in for Carter Williams. And the Knicks making a change here. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Brett Brown as he addressed his team. He made it clear that their offense needed to run through Jackson. Coach would like to see him utilized in the offense as much as possible. We can expect to see them going to him constantly. Those could prove to be crucial changes to their strategy with this game getting ready to enter the stretch drive, Kevin. And thank you, Doris. Rising high to throw that one down. Sky high. Fantastic one-hand jam. Yeah, what a way to wrap up that possession. Crawford outside. Jackson dishes to Sims. Back to Jackson. Six to shoot. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. The Knicks leading by three. Anthony, the pass to Calderon. Back to Anthony. Dishes it to Calderon. Out to Anthony. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up.
And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Knicks. Guys, the passing we've seen from them has been tremendous. Very unselfish. And they're attacking the gaps in the defense with their quick, aggressive drives into the paint area. The 76ers making a switch here. And Baamute's checked in. And a switch here also for New York. Jason Smith, he's checked in for Stoudemire. And Anthony drops them both. He's certainly been hitting well from the line, and those points do add up. The 76ers trail by five. Jackson kicks to Crawford. The three. That's good, and it's Jackson with the assist that time. Six points for Jamal Crawford. For New York, they've gotten eight of their 11 shots to drop since the break. A great third quarter for them offensively. Outside, Anthony feeds it to Smith. He kicks it to Prihioni to the left wing. Calderon against Crawford. Here's Smith. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Sims has got six rebounds now in the game. Jackson dishes to Sims. Back to Jackson. The feed to Crawford for the tie. And the 76ers take on two more. And it's the Knicks with the ball. Next game for them, they'll take on the Raptors at Toronto. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. Anthony can't hit. Philadelphia has gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. And they take the lead. And that's now ten points for Crawford. What a great job of attacking on the break. Yeah, it sure was. He made a beeline for the bucket as soon as they got the ball. Right away, straight to the rim. And Prigioni gets to Golderon. He dishes it to Smith. Pocket six. He only passes to Golderon. Offensive struggles continue. Missing again. Some firepower, Clark and Steve, from his offense. Yeah, Kevin, how about the air confidence? I mean, they yeah. really look like they believe in what they're doing. Yeah, a little swagger here from this team. They're in a nice group. And Baamute can't get it to go. You know, that's a problem he has. I mean, not being able to knock down that open jumper. I think it happens far too often. Now Calderon. To the paint. It's tipped. Stolen by Jackson. Kicks to Covington. Takes a three. Here's Sims. And the rejection by Smith. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. Richardson, he's checked in for the 76ers. Quincy Aze's checked in for the Knicks. New York on D, trailing by two. On the wing, Jason Richardson. That's good, and it's Jackson with the assist that time. Jackson's got four assists in the game. New York's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Here is Calderon. There's a screen. He feeds it to at six. Will it go? And Smith with the stop. Well, I tell you, that's outstanding determination to track that rebound down and fight his way to the bucket for the throwdown. Clark, that is the effort they're going to need for the rest of this game. And not just on the offensive glass, Kevin, but all over the floor. Kicks it out to Richardson. Back to Jackson. And there's the pass to Richardson. Another three for Philadelphia. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. Yeah, they have the defense on the run right now because every pass seems to have a purpose. They're getting great movement, great spacing, and they're really lining them up defensively. And uh, 101 left in the third quarter. Calderon, that's good. Whatever their plan was defensively that time, it, it didn't work. Not if it results in that shot. Philadelphia with the ball. They're on a 13 to 4 run right now. Kicks it out to Richardson. Back to Jackson. A 
offensive rebound. Pass to Richardson. The dish to Crawford. Kicks it out to Richardson. Here's a Sims again, Philadelphia. They haven't been as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. They're playing smart with the lead. I like that. They're being very selective and deliberate in their offense. And that's a good strategy when you're on top. Smith with a screen on Crawford. Over to the left wing. From deep. And the shot is good. An unusual skill set for a big man. The long range shot that gives you such good spacing offensively. The drive by Jackson. Trying to find him. Amute gets it to him. Comes up empty down low. That's really too easy a chance to miss, guys. He needs to be more aggressive and focused on his finishes. Three quarters of play in a close game here. 76ers lead by three. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. Tune in next Wednesday, March 25th. The Chicago Bulls take on Kyle Lowry and the Toronto Raptors. It's an Eastern Conference duel. It's the real deal. Here's Jackson. And New York looking at who they've got. Jason Smith is out there with Bargnani. Then it's Pablo Prigioni. Then it's Quincy Ace. And it's Hardaway in at the two. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks will take it the other way. Where was he going with that pass? I mean, that's just an awful turnover. And the Knicks making a change here. Stoudemire's checked in. Knicks trail by three. Here's Prigioni. Stoudemire with a screen on Carter Williams. Prigioni dishes to Bargnani. Fires from the line. Jason Richardson pulls it in. Richardson's got four rebounds in this game. Noel trying to break loose. Richardson, no luck. New York's gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. Five of 12. Stoudemire kicks to Brigione. Pass to Hardaway to tie it up. That one's rebounded by Embiid. Embiid's got five rebounds tonight. It's Jackson with the drive. Embiid, the best in OL, can't cash in from close range. Knicks trail by three. He only dishes to Hardaway. Here's Prigione. Stoudemire with a screen on Richardson. Just five on the clock. And Stoudemire gets it to go. Stoudemire's got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for the Knicks. The 76ers have gone 0-3 to start the fourth quarter. Carter Williams kicks to MB. And Richardson now atop the key. To the paint. Charity swipe shot. That's good. That's a nice job of getting the ball in the paint and burying the shot. That's exactly how it's done. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kev. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. Stoudemire in the post. He's covered by Noel. Stoudemire kicks to Prigio. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. Nobody near him. No one would make that one. Here's Richardson. And a great assist by Carter Williams as that one goes in. Carter Williams has got 10 assists here tonight. So active. Here's Prigione. Carter Williams covering. There's the screen. A clear look for Hardaway. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. More good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebound might well tell the story in this and that should tilt things toward them. I mean, they've been winning that battle. Boy, he threw out some punishment with that two-hand throw down. Well, now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. Stoudemire, the screen. Hardaway passes to his. Back to Hardaway. Dishes to Stoudemire. Six on the shot clock. 
They get a hand on it. It's Jackson with the drive. No good. Excellent D there from Stoudemire. We've played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. And they call an illegal screen here. Well, as a coach, that kind of turnover just drives you nuts. And that's because it should never happen, Steve. I mean, it just shouldn't. Robert Covington's checked in for Jason Richardson. And a switcher also for New York. Anthony's checked in. The 76ers leading by seven. Out of bounds. New York takes possession. Where was he going with that pass? I mean, that's just an awful turnover. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. He only dishes to Hardaway. Passes it to Barnyan. Cut the bucket. That's some grit and determination in the post. Essential qualities to have late in a close game. Exactly. I mean, this is the time to attack on the interior and generate those easy opportunities. Carter Williams kicks to Covington from 11 feet away. It's rebounded by Bargnani. Next trail by five. Anthony, the pass to Prehioni. Feeds it to Bargnani. New York moving the ball around. And he gets it to go. 40 points for Carmelo Anthony. Getting the feel out there from long range, guys. That's his second three of the half. And here is Carter Williams. And it's Covington on top of the key. Carter Williams against Hardaway. He kicks to Prehioni. And there's the feed to Carmelo. And the Knicks getting another bucket right there. They'll be counting on even more points from him. That's essential if they're going to pull this game out. The 76ers have gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. Jackson dishes to Covington. They set the pick. And it's Carter Williams that time on the assist from Covington. Nine points for Michael Carter Williams. Knicks have gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting an even 50% from the field. And Prehioni kicks to Anthony. And again, it's New York. He is setting this place on fire, fellas. His shooting has been off the charts. And Philadelphia has possession. Kicks it to Noel. Up top, Carter Williams. Six to shoot. Shoots from the line. And that one hits back iron. And that's on a bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. Jose Calderon. He's checked in for Pablo Perillo. Noel down low. He's against Stoudemire. From 10 feet out. And that one's good. Noel. And the 76ers lead by two. The Knicks have gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. Bargnani sets the screen for Calderon. Outside Anthony. And Stoudemire in the corner. He dishes it to Calderon. Just five on the clock. Shot from 12. And again, it's New York. He wasn't able to get his name in the score sheet in the first half. But he looks like he's starting to find his comfort zone here. Philadelphia shooting about 45% from the four in the fourth. And Philadelphia calls time here. He's definitely shaking up. They're using a the timeout to let their trainer take a look at it. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke as across the way on the sideline. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Brett Brown as he addressed his team. He said, guys, this is the kind of game we're capable of playing when we put our minds to it. I knew we had it in us. 
just like I know we're going to come out on top. Let's finish this thing. Guys? Outside Jackson. The shot, no good. Now the Knicks take it the other way. Anthony drives in. throw drops for him. No good on the second free throw. Even with the miss, he got the big one there to put him in front. Rejected by Anthony. He feeds it to Hardaway. It's stolen. Now here's Jackson. Carter Williams with it. Jackson passes to Embiid. Jackson dishes to Embiid. And Bargnani sends it back. Stoudemire attacking. Stoudemire right side. Bargnani kicks to Calderon. Right side Hardaway. Shot clock at six. The pass to Carmelo. Offensive rebound. Stoudemire and the rejection by Noel. Now, Carter Williams. Pass to Noel. To the inside. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. That one's on Anthony. The easiest way to do it sometimes is with the bounce pass. And now we'll get perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the 76ers. Contested shots and block shots. They're bread and butter defensively. They're giving up no easy looks. Well, it seems to me that they're taking a lot of pride in their rebounding tonight, especially at the offensive end, guys. Holderone dishes to Hardaway. Pass to Anthony. And that one comes up a bit short. The 76ers lead to the middle, knocked away. It's stolen by Anthony. It's hauled in by the 76ers. And here we go, fast break. Carter Williams has got the ball. They get it back. And the basket by Jackson. Jackson's got four points now in the quarter. You gotta put bodies on the glass right there. They, they just are not getting it done on the boards. Yeah, they've got to do a much better job of going harder than that to the glass. Philadelphia leading by four. Here's Carter Williams. Flanketed by the D, who fights to the rim for the layup. Great game for him, double-double now. 11 points and 11 assists. New York calls timeout. Nice game. Great performance by the Cobra. He's getting to the rack all game, and if they can't do a better job of keeping him out of the paint, they're in for a long night. It's Anthony with the drive. And just miss after miss right now. Even though he missed it, he couldn't pass up that chance. Yeah, that's an easy jump shot. You gotta take that. Well, he's found his game in his rhythm this quarter. He's gotten into a nice groove. Knicks trail by eight. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. 16 feet away. He squares up and sinks it. 
Anthony's got 47 points. Well, he certainly isn't the one to blame for them being in the hole. He's been on the money with his game. Fifty-two left here in the fourth quarter. Back to Carter Williams. Outside for Jackson. Shot clock at six. The dish to Carter Williams. Expanding his range. With one on the clock. And slam dunk by Miller. And it just shows you why it's so important to win your second shot game. You know, those second shots are usually the easy ones, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, because the defense is out of position on, on the shot attempt in terms of rebounding ways. There's a minute 34 left to play here in the fourth. Calderon has the open look. That's in there. Anthony with the assist. Calderon's got nine points here in the second half. The 76ers leading by five. Jackson passes to Carter Williams. Jackson a screen on Colder. Covington gets to Jackson. And he gets the bucket. Jackson's got eight points in the court. Well, they've done a great job of getting into the middle of that defense and scoring in the paint. Well, that's why they're on this run, guys. They're getting the ball inside and getting really high percentage looks. They're not as aggressive from the outside here, but maybe they should think about stretching the defense a little bit, like they did in the first half. I mean, stretching the defense makes it easier to score inside, too. This is if you know well. Jackson passes to Carter Williams. Philadelphia moving the ball. Covington gets to Carter Williams. Down to five on the shot clock. No luck. Now the Knicks take it the other way. Here's Hardaway. Misses off the left eye. And he commits the intentional foul. Basket here in this game may be all over. Yeah, main priority now has to be take care of the ball and use up some clock. And no good is the first free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. Seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Anthony. Three from the inbound. It falls. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Man, how did he get that thing to go? When you're hot, you're in fuego. And an intentional foul right there. Shot clock and game clock. 
Calderon against Carter Williams. Boy, he really bungled that thing. They foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. Yeah, you got to freeze the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. If you misses at the line, and they're in good shape. Drops the first one, and that puts them up by five. And a tough break is a second attempt at the line. No good. Calderon kicks to Hardaway. That three off the mark. And he commits the intentional foul. free throw is good and that increases their lead to six and so both free throws are good and it's a seven point game here's Calderon no good so Philadelphia wins it they pulled off this win, Clark, with respectable performances on both ends of the floor. Yeah, I think it was just really a nice overall effort, Kevin. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the side. Doris? Jason, you played with great intent tonight. What lit that fire under you? That's just getting going. Uh, just being aggressive, cutting to the basket. Uh, There's not the office we need to worry about some defense. Jason, thank you. Kevin, over to you. All right, Doris, thank you. And for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. Now, our short player of the game, the Cobra.